everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our Thimbleweed Park Let's Play. We are going to continue where we left off. Um, I was looking through the characters because I feel like we're so disjointed on what we're trying to do next. I think we might focus on Ransom a little bit and try to get this package. Um, but as I was going through, I noticed right here, speck of dust. So he's got dust. So we only have 27 more specks of dust somewhere to go. So we're going to try to find those. But let's go to the post office. And try to get our package. We did pick that up, right? Attempted delivery notice. So we fed the hamster. So now we should be able to leave. Right? How do you... That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. Oh, speck of dust right there. Um, let's do our tab. Swear jar. Uh, we've kind of looked at... <laughs> Are these some more Kickstarter people? I think they are. It's the list of all the who swore and paid up. <laughs> Pick up the swear There's jar. nothing inside but a couple of pennies. Well, take the pennies. <laughs> what do you think this is? Hole, stage door, cannon, mirror, anti-itch cream. Uh, can we take this? Uh, look at this box. It's a box with a f crank on it. Use it. Oh my god. <laughs> Snick in a box. Stage door. Then we're out on the stage. Okay, um. How do we leave the circus? Trailers. This way? Good. Um. Mm, mm, mm. Tickets. Country Road. We want to go to Main Street. We want to go to the post office. Where was the post office? <laughs> I don't remember where all the buildings are. Ransom, I know you're just walking around town. Uh, let's try down here first. The bank. Should we have him go in to like some of these? Go talk to some of the people? Ricky's cakes. Bus station. No, we don't want to go there. Um. Can we go to the arcade? The doors are locked and nobody's inside. But I want to go in there. Can we go in here? You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. Uh, you can't legally refuse your service because I'm a clown. Ratting to the feds on me, huh? Ratting to the feds on me, eh? Just order your food and get lost. Crap burger. Give me a greasy crap burger <laughs> with extra heart attack. We're not serving hamburgers until our hot dogs are gone. Now get lost. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. <laughs> Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... So can I have a hot dog? I hope you choke on it. Nom, nom, nom. It's gonna make this us... tastes like crap. And I ought to know. I, uh, gotta go. <laughs> We're gonna go in the alley and puke. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> he liked it. I feel better now. Is he gonna get knocked out? No. Alright, let's go find a post office. <laughs> Pick up the bank sign. I don't want to pick that up. It says, we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first saving. Do we come down here? Nickel News. Here we go. Thimbleweed Park Guided Tours? 
Um, use... That doesn't seem to work. Oh, okay. Talk to you. Ransom, what are you doing here? The latest issue of Humongous Honka Honkas <laughs> won't be mailed for at least another week. <laughs> you, George. Can't a clown visit the post office without the third degree? Sheesh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? Uh, I want to pick up my package. How do you not go postal working at this job? <laughs> Got more awful jokes. Joke about the post stuff. Hey, got my George, package? you lazy f I want to pick up my package. Let me see that. Okay, one moment. And next time, deliver it to me in person. What do you think I pay my tax dollars for? <laughs> you haven't paid your taxes in years. Who do you think sorts all outgoing mail? Well, f you. <laughs> all right, what's the package? It's addressed to me, Ransom the Clown. Can I use it? That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. It's addressed to me, Ransom the Clown. Well, we got the package, but how do we... It was just a random task that we... Hey, you got any Ransom swag? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you <laughs> look like your liver's about to fail. So I guess we both look like... Um... Will you do me a favor? I'll do almost anything for a dollar. I'm gonna ignore that line, because it's too <laughs> easy. But next time someone gives you some cash, can you pick up one of those pine tree car fresheners and hang it around <laughs> That's your neck? rude. You smell like... <laughs> you always hated Chuck Edmund, right? I, I, I don't talk about that. Well, I hated the too. Really? Yeah, that arrogant snob thought he was too good to make my toys. Canceled the most lucrative deal of my life. Um. We're the only people in town who didn't want to kiss his ass. No, there was definitely something wrong with that man. Yeah, it's too bad his milk toast little of a brother Franklin had to vanish. He wanted to make the dolls because he knew a good deal when he saw one. <laughs> Dumb Chuck would rather the factory stay dead than make the toys. The stubborn And you can bet if I ever find Franklin, I'll wring his scrawny neck for bailing on me! Um, it is thundering out, by the way, guys, so if you hear something I don't really that's on my end. For drinking. Oh, you don't? Nah. With your ugly face, I drink every time I pass the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> You're one to talk. Any booze you to got spare? Any booze to spare? If I did, it would cost you. To be honest, I think you should be offering a drink to the poor to got to look at you. How else will they get through the day? You know, I may be a bum, but at least I'm not an. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? You got any ransom swag? Uh, you want this? Can I give him this box? Have you seen my dime? <laughs> Buy me some kombucha? Give the package to him? It's my package. No nope way I will give it to anyone. Um, so you here's the lawyer. Secondhand card. Does she need that? Loose change? Does anyone have a wallet they can give him? I thought we would get it from Ransom, but... Or like a... Alright, well we haven't done much with her. So let's actually have her go up to her room. Maybe there's like a wallet she can get up there. Because we really need that uh, wallet that Willie has. Because it has the blood on it. So which one is our room? This one? And there's dust back here. What's this? Graphics basic. Figurines. Math trophy. Um, can we use this? Ah! 
That doesn't seem to work. Uh... All right. What is the, what's going on over here? Hi. Diggin. <laughs> Diggin. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the grand lobby. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again all the entirety. <laughs> okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. What in the world? <laughs> Where did he come from? Is there any dust on this? I don't think so, but let's go... Not seen any. Which one was the... This one? The lab or something? It yeah. It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. Look at this. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Oh. I've started this journey to keep a record of my progress. Future historians might find it interesting. I feel I'm on the verge of something great. Something greater than making pillows, if that's possible. Yes, just as I had predicted, my neutron tube is amazing. It's given me an idea I need to explore. Working out well, better than I had hoped. I just need to make sure the solder connections are good and I'll be able to move to the next phase. I think I've cracked the secret to AI. It's quite complex, but this neutron tube turns it into child's play. First step is to automate some of the factory machines. This should increase pillow production by 700%. The profits will be endless. If automated most of the factory machines. Not only has production increased by 704%, I'm saving a lot of money by laying off all the workers. Still need to keep Mr. Reyes on as a security guard. Until the security robot... Oh my god! Reyes! The security guard they blamed on? New SR01 security robots are working. I've hidden the programming manual in the mansion library. There is one flaw to the, in the design I need to fix. I've added a to-do to the code. The AI is better than I expected. The machines can almost think on their own. The Tron tubes are the secret. Transistors are a dead-end technology. Could win a Nobel Prize with this, but I need to keep it a secret. It's too profitable to share. Franken is good with the books, but I wish he'd keep his ideas to himself. Increasing the speed of the neutral neural tube network for the Tron AI. It's amazing. Just installed Tron machines in the corners and sheriff office. They have been perfect in identifying petty crimes. So will revolutionize law enforcement when perfected. I fired the corner, but it might look odd if Thimbleweed didn't have one. So I have a plan. More on that later. Oh, Pillow Factory and the town's Tron machines are the talk of the country. Rich and famous are flocking here, and I've been neglecting many inventions in favor of too many parties at the mansion mansion. Dolores is such a bright girl. I showed her how to solder tubes this afternoon. She took to it like a true Edmund. See bright things in her future. Really need to take a break from socializing and tend to the factory Tron machines. Mr. Reyes has warned me about some strange behavior from the smarter AI. I need to look into that. I don't see a problem with the AI. Mr. Reyes must be mistaken or paranoid about his job and making things up. I've increased the neural tube network yet again. I had an interesting conversation with the main factory AI. It has some interesting ideas. I've become distracted with the text adventure I downloaded from BBS last night. It's got me thinking about AI and games. I have a few ideas I need to explore. Willie is dead to me. I'll make him pay for what he's done. She was my girl, not his. <gasps> Willie's watch business is no more. I'll have my AI take care of his bank account. This text adventure is really interesting. Using my AI, I might be able to simulate a little world in here. I need to get to work. Don't know what happened. One of the AIs must have come off the grid. A small fire started and floor two of the pillows went up in a flash. The AI was supposed to be controlling fire suppression, but I had most of the Tron tubes working on my text adventure simulation. I went out to the factory today. It's been burnt to the ground. Mr. Reyes was killed trying to shut everything down. The guard bots thought he was an intruder and eliminated him. I need to think. Think I can change the time clock so it looks like Mr. Reyes didn't check in. That should avert suspicion. Mr. Reyes will take the fall, but my AI won't be under scrutiny. It's too valuable to be shut down. It might be more than valuable. Back at the factory trying to clean up, most of the factory AI seems to have been destroyed. The good news is most complex systems were hard at work, simulating my text adventure world, and were unaffected. I'm going to move them into the basement. Main AI agrees with my plan to pin the fire on Mr. Reyes. They have a kid, so Miss Reyes will be happy 
with some money and to move away. It's the last I'll see of them. I need to redouble my efforts on the main Tron machine. I think that's the key to AI and simulation. The loss of the factory seems to have affected the town. Few businesses have gone under and thankfully there are fewer parties. I finally spend more time working. 1138, 1138, where do I know that number from? Oh, it's from that stupid space movie Dolores can't stop quoting. I've neglected my journal for a while. Dolores is growing up despite having a wimp for a father. Glad she has taken to electronics and computers. She might be the key to the pillow factory's rebirth. Can't believe Franklin wants to make stuffed animals in the pillow factory. What an embarrassment that would be. Plus, I can't have the factory restarted now. It will screw up my research. I'll have to deal with him. He's easily distracted with accounting. I'll have him redo the books. Dolores is my pride and joy. I might be able to let her in on the secret. I need her to take over the pillow factory. She will be overjoyed. Dolores seems to be interested in making games. This is perfect. I need to show her my text adventure, but I don't think it's ready yet. The world simulation is getting good. She is out of my will. Dolores has turned on us. She's taken a job at a game company from Thimbleweed, far from Thimbleweed Park. I need to discuss this with the AI. Maybe it was a little hasty with Dolores. At least she is making games. There might be hope. The AI says I need to forget about her. The AI makes a lot of sense. I think I discovered something amazing. I need to investigate this further. It can't be true. Or can it? A lot of things would make sense if it were. I'm on the last page of this journal. I need to get a new one. So much to write down. This is truly amazing. Wow. Okay, Chuck was a strange <sighs> and complicated person. So I have a, like, huge, like, I have theories about this game. I think the sheriff and the strange device. Uh, can we pick up these strange devices? It says Philip's dangerous device, and it has a red button and a speaker on it. <laughs> so I think the sheriff and the coroner and everything are, um, are AI. It's in here pretty tight. I'm going to need a tube puller. Where's the tube puller? It says that he ordered one. I don't have a reason to use Uncle Chuck's oscilloscope. The painting is beeping. Or the, there's a light. Aha. Uh -huh. Pick up the key. It's a key. Hmm. It says office on it. <laughs> Fingerprint reader Tron 3000. It's a fingerprint reader to open the safe. It only works for Uncle Chuck. Oh, we have that book of fingerprints. Um, bed, box, box, shelves, robot, shelves. Use the desk. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. Now we're still gonna. Do these still just lead Feeling all over my the place? Way along. <laughs> these must still just. Now they said something about a basement. Where'd this guy go? Is he an AI? Hi, Doug. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Let's talk to Doug again. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the grand lobby. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again all the entirety. Okay, Doug. Okay. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. All right. So there's a basement in this place. How do we... Well, he said he hid something. What did he hide in here? In the library. What page was that on? <laughs> oh, and Reyes's dad was a uh, was the security guard who they blamed it on. Um, what did he say that he hid in the library? Hidden the programming manual in the mansion library. Oh, 
Open this. Uh, use this. I don't need to find any books now. Yeah, we need a programming manual. AI Volume 5. Is that it? <laughs> Pick it up. I shouldn't take this out of the library. I shouldn't take this out of the library. Okay. Um. All right. What's this? It's a spare AT25 tube. Very rare. Hard to find. Okay. Philip's dangerous device. <laughs> Let's see if we can't find... So this is the kitchen. And there is absolutely nothing over here. And there's no basement. Maybe they meant the basement like at the factory? Unless there's like a... Okay. Um. Get lawyer to read uncle's will. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get ransom. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? To give this to her. Thimbleweed Park guided tours. No. Can I access the map anyway? It's a page from my joke book. I don't care about your joke book. We do have to be on the lookout for another page. Uh, 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 uh. I don't need the quickie pal. We do want to go up to the vista. I'm gonna bring him to the mansion. Is what I'm gonna do. Edmund, Edmund, Edmund Mansion, Mansion. So he can give her the card for the lawyer, and then she can call the lawyer. All right, Dolores. Actually, can you come out here and meet him? And then he give this to her. I'm tired of carrying this. <laughs> and then she has that. It's a business card for a lawyer. Brant Balowick, JD. Legal problems? Don't worry, we'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. Hey, he was Uncle Chuck's lawyer. Aha. Uh -huh. So let's just see if there's a phone book in here. Which I don't think there- I know there's a phone. Mm, thundering out now. I'm at the staircase. Should oh, there I is. use it? Nope. Um, it's a business card what's his name? for a lawyer. Brant Balowick. Brant JD. Balowick. Legal problems? Don't worry. We'll screw him for you. I'm in- Brant- Brant Beldwick, 4616. We'll call him and then we will... Then we'll end the episode. Hi there, this is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today, prepping for ThimbleCon 87. <laughs> Try me later. What? But I need you. ThimbleCon 87. Why is this flashing?
Need 25 more specks of dust. I think he's got to do something. All right. We'll, we'll do him uh, when we get back. So, guys, thank you so much for your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Thimbleweed Park Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys I next time. I wonder what the guest is up to now. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye, everyone.